It was billed as a homemade spray sanitizer sold at this 7-Eleven in Rivervale. But instead of cleansing, it sent a young boy to the hospital, leaving him with first and second degree chemical burns from his arms down to his legs. His mother posting the images on Facebook as a warning to parents. And now the Rivervale Police Department is involved. There are about 10 bottles remaining that were sold yesterday alone. Um, anyone who's purchased those items is asked to not use them and to contact our agencies. Police are still trying to determine who produced the homemade concoction, an apparent trend amid concerns over hand sanitizer shortages due to the COVID-19 outbreak. The 7-Eleven franchise owner is said to be cooperating with the investigation. As the child recovers from his injuries, his family has hired an attorney who tells me they plan to pursue legal action. This incident just the latest in a series of consumer mishaps all linked to the coronavirus. As many as seven companies were issued warnings this week by the Federal Trade Commission and Food and Drug Administration for marketing products that they claim could treat, prevent and even cure the coronavirus. If you are concerned and you're hearing a claim that sounds too good to be true, uh, there's a very good chance it's too good to be true. For the record, there is no cure or treatment for the coronavirus that has been approved or tested by the FDA. There's regulators you can contact, especially if you, if you have purchased something and you feel like uh, you've, you've been taken advantage of. The New York State Attorney General has set up a hotline for those concerned over COVID-19 related scams. For more information on all that, head over to our website, Pix11.com. In Rivervale, I'm Andrew Ramos, Pix11 News.